Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. We have an amazing show for everybody today. What do we have, Crystal? Like, I'm not even yeah. sure you guys are going to yeah. believe the show we have for you today, to be honest with you. So first off, let's just start with the fact we have Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard in studio to explain her very controversial vote of present. She'll tell us her thinking behind that. Go. We've got Kyle Kalinske in the show to also talk about impeachment. We've got DNC comms, Sochi, to talk about the debate tonight. And of course, we also have a live report from California, the site of the debate from our own Jamal Simmons to set us up there. Um, but let's start with the big news of the morning, which is impeachment. That's right. So the House of Representatives voted yesterday to impeach President Donald Trump on two counts. The only bipartisan part of the vote was actually against the vote, with two Democrats siding with Republicans not to impeach President Trump. However, that wasn't the biggest news that broke out that last night. Basically, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, in a press conference after the vote, would not commit to transmitting the articles of impeachment to the Senate for a trial unless it's fair. Let's take a listen to exactly what she said. We cannot name managers until we see what the process is on the Senate side, and I would hope that that will be soon, as we did with our legislation, our Resolution 660, to describe what the process would be. Uh, so far, we haven't seen anything that looks fair to us, so hopefully it will be fair, and when we see what that is, we'll send our ma managers. It's just a little bit too perfect, isn't it, Crystal, that after all this, after the months and months of months of impeachment, they may not even send it to the Senate for a trial because it's not fair to the process, which means it was a stupid political stunt from the very beginning. And all what was the polling? NBC polling on the day of impeachment, 48, 48. Not a single person has budged. So many yeah. thoughts. So yeah. number one, yes, if they don't send it to the Senate, it's just a basically complete admission of defeat. Mm -hmm. The whole idea that you were going to convince Republicans, that you're going to convince Trump supporters, right. that you were going to move the country, whether it was the Mueller report, whether it was his him testifying, whether it was Ukraine, whether it was the transcript, whether it was the impeachment itself, all of those things have failed. It has not moved the country at all. And we are where we are. Second of all, though, I have to say, honestly, at this point, if they just draw a hard line and yeah. say, if we don't get the president and Mulvaney and Pompeo, we're not sending him over and they just end it right now, yeah. honestly, it would be the smartest thing she's it done would. since this started. Like, just, this is it. We sent our message. We're done. We're moving on. Like, just get it over and move forward as quickly as you can. It would be the smartest possible thing that she could do. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to bring up here, which is just as I've reflected on this whole process, and look, as I've said many times on this show, this president has committed real wrongdoing. He has done real harm to this country. Of course, the Democrats decided to seize on the weakest and dumbest argument they could possibly make against him that bolsters their own establishment allies mm -hmm. in Joe Biden, their own bipartisan consensus around war making around the world. Like, of course, that's the thing that they pick. But imagine how much could have been done if they spent even a quarter of the energy that they spent on Russiagate and Ukraine Gate and impeachment, trying to actually get the minimum wage up to $15 an hour, yeah. get health care improved, prescription drug prices down. Like, if you had put that kind of external pressure on something that people actually cared about and that was popular, Republicans would have had to cave. This president yeah. would have, you could have actually gotten something done if that's how you chose and to spend this your time. This is what I've been saying. If you want to force a real debate in this country, talk about how the president and his administration have not legislatively done a lot of the things that he said they were going to do. There's no infrastructure package. Manufacturing index is on decline. I mean, so many of the Midwestern states, which we've covered on the show, are not doing particularly well because the Trump administration has, by and large, been a great advocate for the many Wall Street and establishment GOP people who have taken it over. And that's the single most effective attack, is right. he didn't do what he actually said he would do. Instead, they want to say he's an uncouth man, his character, my God. It's Again, I covered it yesterday. Our children are watching. We must stamp him with impeachment. The truth is, nobody's going to be talking about If they drop this tomorrow, people won't be talking about impeachment in two weeks. And I do think that, in fairness, I do think that a lot of um, Democrats in the House, I shouldn't say a lot, but some, like this was a matter of principle. They, they do feel that they need to place this mark on history and the record yep. books, rightly or wrongly, and hold him accountable. Like, I do think that there is a sincerity behind some of their actions. 
But just putting the morality of, of it aside, from the very beginning, the way that they've chosen to go after Trump mm -hmm. on his values, on his morals, on his racism, et cetera, et cetera, has basically made it impossible for you to actually win over any people who were on the fence, who did reluctantly. And there were many of them who reluctantly pulled the lever for Donald Trump. But because Democrats have basically nuked the conversation to make it so that if you voted for Trump, you are inherently evil, wrong, yeah. bad, problematic, whatever word you want to use, of course you're not going to win him over. But to do otherwise, to actually reckon with what he's doing and the failures that he has actually had in office, his inability to keep his promises, that would require some self-reflection on their part. That would require a reckoning with their own record of and failures admitting, in this country. Right, and admitting their own record in getting us to this point. That's admitting it. the policies that they want to continue and continuing to keep us at war in a million different countries and continuing to spend all of this money in, in basically, you know, in free gifts to Wall Street and to all of these other special interests, that's what they want. But, and that's, that they can't reckon with that, so they have to focus on something, process crime, like Ukraine, temporarily touching Ukrainian military. Yeah, but listen, if Pelosi decides, she's not gonna, yeah. I, I, this is what I, <laughs> she should draw a hard line, no yeah. president, no sending the articles over. Yeah. Of course, he's never gonna agree to it. His people would never let him agree to Obviously. it. And then it'll be over. That would be the smartest thing right. she could do By at this way, point. By the way, Mitch McConnell is dancing a jig right now because now he doesn't even have to waste floor time. He doesn't want to do it either. So they're like aligned in and their vulnerable interest. senators like Cory Gardner and Susan Collins. The best thing they would ever want to do is not have to vote on impeachment. Very so, true. Very true. At the Thank same you, time, of course, there's a debate tonight. That's right. Very excited. Seven people on the stage. Will Andrew Yang actually get to be <laughs> able to speak? Will Joe Biden be able to form a coherent Complete sentence? sentence? <laughs> uh, will he so also be able to questions. speak, but in a different way? <laughs> uh, we have a lot of questions. We're going to be here 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live show before, live show after with some of our favorites from this We've show. Got a really good Make sure you guys tonight. tune in, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys tonight. Yep, but up next, we're going to tell you what's on our radars. That's coming up.